Hey friends, it's me, Pastor Doug, with another one minute word of encouragement for the day for today, Wednesday, April 22nd. And today's word comes out of 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verses 16, 17, and 18. But they're short verses, especially the first couple. And listen to what Paul writes. He says, rejoice always. Pray continually. Now we can get on board with both of those. Okay, rejoice always. Okay, I can do that. Pray continually. Okay, I can do that. But listen to what he says in verse 18. Give thanks in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. Now, a lot of times when we read that, we think, hang on a second, I'm supposed to give thanks for all the circumstances that I'm going through, especially when we're going through really difficult situations, right? We're thinking, no, like I've lost my job or my hours have been cut or my family has been affected or my health is, is, is compromised. You know, there's all these things going on around me. How am I supposed to give thanks for those things? But that's not what he says. He doesn't use the preposition for, he uses the preposition in. In other words, he's saying, no, 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 no. You don't have to give thanks for all of those bad things that might be happening in your life. He says, I want to encourage you to give thanks in the middle of all of those circumstances that are going on in your life. While we may not be grateful for all of the things that might be happening in our world, in our country, in our county, in our own personal lives, we can still continue to give thanks in those circumstances because when we do that, we take our eyes off of the circumstances and we put our eyes back on him. That is why Paul encourages us to give thanks in all circumstances. So have a great day and we'll see you tomorrow.